Here we are, Grand and Rising. Grand Rising! Grand Rising! Beautiful souls in this world, you don't know we are not of this world. Cool baby there, you don't know the thing already. Here we are, Grand and Rising on this beautiful and blessed Friday rising yes we've made it to friday the ending of for some of us the work week not me but that's okay because i actually love the work that i do um but god has been so good so good um and like i said to you guys before like i recommend that every week every day even keep your eyes open to seeing the movements of god in your life like every day before you lay it down at night and call it a night and getting ready to rest for the next day i think that before you sleep you should you know just go back in the day that you had and see where you knew that this was god moving where you know that this was god speaking where you know that this was god revealing himself okay it is only like when we do that it, it gets us deeper and deeper more intimate with christ because when we see him move trust me god moves in a way where he he has to show you that okay when you when you see that thing happen right there that's gonna be no other thought for you to think oh somebody else helped me or oh somebody no the when god moves he moves in a way that you gonna know that it was nobody else but him right so keep your eyes open keep your heart and your mind open to receiving right the blessings because it's a blessing god moving in your life is truly a blessing anywho's um i just wanted to encourage you guys on today listen um the, the bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of god i want to encourage you guys to stay as much in your word as you need to now we know or i've learned in my life that you have to be able to balance the two and when i say the two i mean getting into this word right letting god minister to you through his word right letting this word come alive and active within your heart and your life right and then also having a steady and firm intimate relationship with god so it's not really enough to just say, oh, well, I talk to God every day. That's enough. No, it's not enough. You you got to get into this truth, right? You got to get, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You have to get into this word, into this truth. You got to know who he calls you. You got to know how to weather certain storms when they come, not if they come, because they will. You got to know certain things. This is the blueprint. So it's not enough just to say, oh, well, I talk to God every day, and I got a, uh, I got a relationship with God. and That's great, but it's not enough. You got to add this. It's an equation, right? And, and there's no equal to unless you have these two, okay? And then it's also not enough to dive in the word and say, oh, well, I know the Bible front and back. And I know, look at the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They did know. They did know. They did know the word front and back. Them can't tell you what is right, what is wrong. Them can't tell you if you're not in alignment with the Sabbath or if you're not in, they, you know, it's not enough right they knew they knew the word front and back but they didn't even know it was jesus it was god himself standing in front of them so you can miss it just being in this word and not having a foundational firm grounded intimate relationship with christ as well is not enough so beloved i want to come tell you and encourage you and recommend to you today that you need to have that balance of both in your life reading the word this is for all of us okay and if you already read your word and you already talk to god good do some more do it more do it more incorporate it more it, it can never be enough it can never be enough holy spirit is talking to all of us me included it can never be enough so if you do it already to the extent that you do it do it do it more incorporate it more if you feel like you don't do it at all start doing it start doing it we all got 24 hours how are you utilizing the time that was given to you okay how are you utilizing and god didn't favor he has no respect of person so he never favored somebody else differently and said oh you know what i'm gonna give them 
48 hours you get 24 hours a day and you get 48 hours a day we all got the same 24 hours so there's no excuse so i want to encourage you have a balance between being getting the word being in the word getting the word let it letting it come alive and into manifestation and fruition in your heart and in your life because i'm telling you it's in a live word it's in a live word and that's why i always say when you when you read it read it out loud out loud with this the power on your tongue read it out loud and then also both that was acting crazy also in the same time Start building a intimate, that word is very, um, I'm emphasizing it, okay? Not just to have a relationship with God, I talk, no, it needs to be intimate, intimate. And your homework, I know we all know what intimacy means, but God is trying to show you on a deeper level. Your homework is to go look up the origin of the word intimate, intimacy, right? Go look up that and let God speak to you. Let God show you, plucky. Let God show you and speak to you what he's trying to get through to you when he means you got to have the balance of the two. The word and me. A real intimate relationship with me and the word. And yo, in our real life, when you put them together, they align. It's like, it's like a puzzle. And you can't have this piece with this piece of the puzzle missing. The puzzle is not complete. Or you can't have this piece with this piece of the puzzle complete. It's not complete. So it's like... Like I said, an equation, a puzzle that has to, has to come together. They align, right? They complement one another. Your life like expands when you add them both. So I just pray that this is a word that you would take. Um, we are looking to do Grand Risings on the weekends as well. So stay tuned. Be on the lookout for that. For now, it is Monday through Friday. Um, and this word, I mean, take it for your Saturday and Sunday. But also, guys, um, for right now, being that we don't do Grand Risings Saturday and Sunday, we do do a live Bible study. So make sure you are tuning in every Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, we go live on YouTube. We go live on Instagram. So go to one of those platforms and make sure you tuned in, tapped in, because when we're ready, we're ready. And also, come on now. We open the floor at the end to let anybody just share what God has shared with them, what God has showed them, re 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 we can't talk, revelations, all these things. So I love you guys so much. Big upon bless up yourself. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful Friday and weekend. I will see you tomorrow on the lot. And I will also see you um, on the next Grand Rising on Monday. And also, y'all, Cooler Baby Expresses Podcast Season 3, Episode 4, is releasing tomorrow, okay? So a lot happens on Saturday. So if you're missing a Grand Rising, that's okay. You got the podcast that drops on Saturdays, and you got the Bible study on Saturdays. So... Come on, beloved. Let's get it. I love you so much. Bless up yourself. Have a beautiful and blessed weekend. And I will see you tomorrow.